Introduction to Meter, Part 1 Today we will learn what is meter and the relationship between meter and centimeter. Hey Riyansh and Ayushman, why are you sitting and wasting time? Why don't you practice? Practice for what? Don't you know, there is a long jump competition in our school next month and children from other schools are also participating in it. You both have been selected from your class to participate in the boys long jump competition. That means we have to jump? Yes, and not just jump but jump longer than other children so that you can win the competition. We both are champions at jumping so we don't need to practice for that. Okay? So tell me, how many meters can you jump? What is meant by meter? Meter is a unit of measurement of length. But ma'am, the length of objects is measured in centimeters, right? That's what sir told us in the classroom. Yes, length is measured in centimeters but it is also measured in meters. Centimeter is a unit of measurement of length. Similarly, there are other units of measurement for measuring length. Meter is one of them. But ma'am, centimeter is already there as a unit of measurement for length. Then why do we need meter? Different units of measurement are required because lengths are different. Centimeter is very small, therefore it is used to measure small lengths. But to measure bigger lengths, meter is used. We measured a break in centimeters. Can we measure break in meters too? No. Break is small, therefore it cannot be measured in meters. Only those objects whose length is more than 100 centimeters are measured in meters. Why only bigger than 100 centimeters? Why not smaller than that? Because 1 meter has 100 centimeters. Or we can also say that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Which means if the length of an object is 100 centimeters, then can we say that the object is 1 meter long? Absolutely right. Why not say 100 centimeters? Okay, come, I will explain you. If I ask you to measure the length of the seat, then what will you measure it with? With this small matchstick or with this big stick? Hmm. I will measure it with this stick. Why? Because with this I can measure quickly. I will have to use matchstick several times. You mean to say that measuring this long bench with the stick is much easier and practical? Yes. In the same way, meter is used to measure long things or objects and centimeter is used to measure small things or objects. Now I understand why is long jump measured in meters. Why? Because a long jump will definitely be longer than a hundred centimeter. So it makes it easier and practical to measure a long jump in meters. Now we have had a lot of talks. Come jump and show so that we can measure it. Okay. I will jump first. How long did I jump? Let's measure it. You have jumped 2 meters, Ayushman. Can you jump longer than this, Rayansh? It doesn't look very difficult. Let me try. Hey, Rayansh, you have jumped longer than Ayushman. But there is not much difference. Let's measure, then we will know. Rayansh, you have jumped 2 meters and 10 centimeters. 2 meters or 10 centimeters? 2 meters, 10 centimeters. I didn't understand, ma'am. Tell me either in meters or in centimeters. Hey, Rayansh, it is not necessary to tell length in just one unit of measurement. We can write it in two units of measurements as well. For instance, your long jump is 2 meters 10 centimeters. This means that you have jumped a length of 2 meters and 10 centimeters. Okay, now I understand. Riyansh has jumped just 10 centimeters more. So if I practice a little, then I will be able to jump longer. I know, you both can win the long jump competition. That is why I am saying that you need to practice. Okay, we will practice now.
But how long did the winner of previous competition jump? In the previous competition, the longest jump was two meters and eighty centimeters. At present, I can jump two meters. I will have to jump an additional eighty centimeters. Hmm, and I will have to jump another seventy centimeters. This is last year's record. It is possible that this year somebody may jump longer. Therefore, keep practicing and try to jump the longest. Okay, madam. Today you learn that meter is a unit of measurement to measure length. One meter has hundred centimeters. Apart from centimeter, meter can also be used to measure length. The length can be represented using both meter and centimeters together. For instance, Rayansh jumped two meters and ten centimeters. 